Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world, and welcome back to the channel. Um, it's been a while since I've said that, since my intro says it all now. Um, but yeah, I'm back. It's International Whiskey Day. Um, this is not to be confused with the Whiskey Day, which is later in the year. Um, this one was set up by or in memory of Michael Jackson. Not that one, the other one, um, the beer and whiskey guru. Um, and it goes towards helping Parkinson's. Um, so before this video, um, I've just donated a little bit of money to my local Parkinson's charity. So, what am I doing? Um, if you've already seen the thumbnail, then you know. Um, I've got three Jack Daniels um, to review. Um, I like doing things in three, gives it a little bit more meaning to a video and to a review. Um, so I've got the original Jack Daniels Tennessee whiskey, 40% um, proof. I've got the Jack Daniels single barrel, 100% proof, Traveller's um, edition. Um, as you can see, I've already had quite a bit out of that one. Um, I do enjoy the single barrel. Um, and I've also got the Jack Daniels bonded. Um, kind of their new release, I would say. It's only been going for around two years. Um, but it's 50% volume. Um, yeah, and I, I really like this glass and the limited edition, the, the single barrel proof. Um, that's iconic with a square shape, but it's kind of lost now, isn't it? I think. Um, but anyway, um, I'm going to get into the review. Um, I haven't really thought of an order. I'm just going to, but let's just go with the original first. Let's go for the OG. And I should say, um, so each of these reviews I'll just be doing neat. Um, so there'll be no water or mixer put in. Um, just a little bit of Jack Daniels um, glassware there. Um, in the glass, you can see there, um, probably about two drums. Lovely medium amber colour there in the glass. Um, I, th I kind of think most people now know what um, Jack Daniels looks like. But medium amber, uh, this is an 80% proof, so obviously it's 40% ABV. Um, let's go in for the aroma. Lovely swathes of vanilla caramel very pleasant oakiness to it. Slight ripe banana, not over the top. Um, Jack Daniels is known for its kind of banana aroma. And a little bit of spice there as well. Um, yeah, um, cheers folks. Let's get into it. So straight off the bat, it's it's got a quite pleasant um, dryness about it. Um, leaves a kind of a, a peppery oakiness um, taste in the mouth. Let's go back and have another one. Yeah, black pepper, 
honey, slight caramel, slight vanilla. You can taste the the corn, the grain that it's made with. Um, slight, slight sweetness. Um, kind of like an apricot or a peach. Um, but again, very dry. Um, not a bad, not a bad one to start with. Um, it kind of is like the most premium. I'm knocking stuff all over. I've only had two mouthfuls. Um, but yeah, it's kind of the most premium whiskey in the world over. Um, I know it is in the UK. Um, Jack Daniels in the UK sells more bottles than the second and third um, combined. Um, which kind of indicates how popular Jack Daniels is. So that's not bad. Um, out of 10 if I was to score that. I'd give it a 7.5. Or oh, for Americans if you guys are watching because you like the score. Out of 100 then it'll be 75 out of 100. Um, not a bad way to start. So. I'm kind of torn now between do I go for the bonded. Or do I go for the single proof? You know what? I'm going to go for the single proof. Single barrel. 100% proof. Yeah. Let's go for this one. Um, I've had this one many a times. As you can see by the almost empty bottle. Um, I did buy this over in Spain um, a few years ago. Um, because you just can't get it over here. Um, this one, so so there we've got we've got like a darker color, kind of like a a dark, rich amber. So where the other one was kind of a medium amber, this one, um, you can see it. It is darker. It is richer in color. Um, but yeah, it's, it's not a bad looking whiskey in the glass and yeah, I know it's branded. What a shame. <laughs> but uh, anyway, let's, uh, go for the nose. So... I know this has opened up in the bottle because I've had the bottle for a while, um, but it's still getting, it's kind of like a sharper woodiness. So you've got like the rich oak, but it's kind of like a, like a sherry. And maybe like a, a, a pecan or an almond, um, but like a toasted, like a toasted almond maybe. Yeah, it, it's kind of throwing me off a little bit. Um, it's been a, a few weeks since I, I last had this one. Um, and there's still a little hint of dried fruit. Not too much, but... Yeah, anyway, I've done enough sniffing. Let's get into it. Cheers, folks. So, yeah, there's orkiness. Sweetness, vanilla, caramel. It's kind of, um, it's kind of gone like to a, a burnt brown sugar. Um,
yeah, burnt brown sugar, little bit of nutmeg, swathe of coriander that's come in, and even, I would say, a little bit of maybe uh, leatheriness to it. Um, it. It's a longer finish, so it's kind of develops as it goes through, unlike the, the original, um, which is very short, dry, that kind of thing. This one is relatively long in comparison. Um, the, there comes the clove. Yeah, so the one thing I was going to say is usually this one, um, you kind of get like banana and clove. Um, I think with it being open for a little bit, the bananas kind of being swapped with a, a burnt brown sugar. Um, it's not terrible, it's just very different. Um, and we often see this um, in whiskey, how you'll open a bottle, you may not agree with it, you leave it a while, it opens up and it can also do the reverse as well. Um, this one just throw me a little slightly. Um, but I'll finish it off. Still not bad. Still not bad. Um, much more complex than the original. Kind of comes in like swathes, so you don't get like the whole hit at once. There is a heat there, more heat than the OG, um, but with all the different extra flavours going on, it kind of balances itself out. Um, not a bad one. If I was to score it, I'd say, oh, where am I going with it? An 8.2 or an 82 out of 100 in, a, in the US. Um, it's not bad. It has been better. Um, it's been a lot, lot better. It probably isn't like the best um, way to review it when it's it's mostly gone. Um, but it's still slightly better than the original. Um, just because of that longer finish. And how it develops more on the palette. That's not bad. That's not bad. Yeah. 8.2. 8 8.2. I'll be happy with that. Um, let's go for the third. Uh, you know I'm trying to keep this down. So I'm, I'm kind of rushing through these a little bit. Um, just because I don't really want to bore you a lot that I'm watching. Um, but the Jack Daniels. Bonded. Um, it's got a load of blurb there. It's fifty percent. I don't really want to read all the blurb on there. And unfortunately, I've got to go for a Dalmore glass for this one because I I don't know where my other Jack Daniels glasses have gone. Trust me, at one point there were so many of them. It was unbelievable. Let's get it in the glass. But yeah, this is Jack Daniels Bonded, 100% proof. So it's 50% ABV. There we have it. Much darker than than the previous one. I don't know if that's been shown really on camera. It is darker. Um, it looks a little bit thinner than the Traveller's Edition, the uh, single barrel. Um, yeah, Let, let's go in for the nose. And this is the first time I've opened this bottle as well, so um, I, w I wasn't sure what to expect. 
Um, but there's there's the caramel, there's the vanilla, there's the banana, there's the slight clove. There's also like a a, a woodiness, um, kind of like a the the oak from the barrel. Yeah, and I'm just getting a sweetness there on the end. Yeah. Um, I don't know what I was expecting with this one. Um, but yeah, anyway, cheers folks. Yeah, it, it's a little thinner than the previous two. Um, certainly warmer than the previous two. Um, and that because it's the highest ABV of the three. You're getting a, a caramel, vanilla. kind of a, a toasted like a lightly toasted um, sugar-free marshmallow um, it's certainly the sweeter out of the three it's definitely the sweeter out of the three um, hmm. I kind of wasn't expecting it to to taste like as sweet as that um, it's kind of like this sugary soiree of caramel toffee banana marshmallow um, I I kind of feel this is Jack Daniels answer to a fat kid in a candy shop um, Now there's a spice to it. As that heat grows and the sugars and things kind of go off the palate, it kind of loses behind the spiciness. Um, sorry if you if you can hear the dog bark, and that's why I'm looking that way because it's going off its tits at the minute. Um, or oh, boobies, sorry, YouTube. Um, it's yeah the. So there's a spicy heat to it. It's kind of bringing in coriander, clove, cardamom, cinnamon. Yeah, it and it lingers a bit. It's kind so. When I say it's longer than the the barrel proof. Yeah, I would actually. Yeah, I'd say it's a longer finish than the barrel proof, but it's a sweeter, um, longer finish. Uh, that's quite interesting. Um, how would I rate it? How would I rate it? Um, I, I'd give it I'd give it a 7.2 or a 72 over 100 it's still a respectable score however there's a little bit too much sweetness there um, I kind of feel like I need to go for a dental checkup um, after having that um, yeah it's it's still good. The, the the kind of spiciness within that and the heat and that layer is pretty good and how it develops, but it's just a little bit too sweet. 
um, for me, um, you might enjoy it. Um, but yeah, so in third place then is the Jack Daniels Bonded. Um, second place we have the original uh, not by not by many points at all and then first is still the single barrel um, that was quite interesting I, I I was expecting more from the bonded but I think given the I think it's the cheapest out of the three as well I've just yeah I, I definitely think it's the cheaper out of the three um, They've kind of put more style than substance into it. Um, yeah, that that's just how it goes at times. Um, but yeah, this has broke up my afternoon. Um, I've done a jack off, a three-way jack off. Um, thankfully, we're no blokes called Jack. Um, just historic figures. Um, but yeah. Enough said, that's kind of how I've rated them. Um, happy International Whiskey Day to you all. Um, I'm actually back tomorrow, Thursday, um, for Tea Time Live. Um, so I look forward to, to seeing you then. If not, have a lovely Easter weekend. And I'm sure I will see many of you around at some point. So... Thank you very much for joining them, and please do leave a comment. Uh, I'm not bothered about the, the like, subscribe stuff. But yeah, just let me know if you've had any other three, um, and what your thoughts are on them. So, thank you very much, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.